Welcome to the Bullhorn. IPO Mania is back. Online real estate company Zillow more than doubles in the first few minutes of trading. Breaking it down, me, Howard Lindsay of the Stock Twits. So let me get this straight. Unprofitable company tied to the housing market. Existing home sales fell today, and Zillow's a great company. What, what's up with that? Zillow will go to a hundred, Paul. Then it will buy Pandora and people will listen to music while surfing for their houses that are underwater. Wow. You know, listen, the market will do what it wants to do. Um, you know, people laughed at Chipotle when it doubled from 20 to 40 on the first day. Listen, Zillow is a place for ladies to hang out and see what they would look like in another neighborhood. The, uh, you know, you can't predict why people are using sites. You know, people use Trulia, Zillow, but uh, they've got it out there. It is a great, great service. Obviously, Zillow, Pandora, some other uh, top internet sites that have gone public uh, lately, LinkedIn, of course, as well, Groupon is filed to go public. All of these have in common, they're definitely popular. There's no one debating whether or not they have a strong user base, but the revenue and profits you know, they don't really necessarily have a great business model, some might argue. Contrast that with something like Zynga, the gaming company that also has a lot of users, but they're making money. Do investors need to differentiate between the companies that are already profitable and the ones that are maybe, it's a pipe dream that they ever make money because their business model's flawed? I, I try not to worry about it because while we talk about this, Apple just hit 1,040. There's so few analysts left on Wall Street. There are so many new games being played with small floats. And you know what? These companies have hundreds of other small startups that they can buy as tuck-ins to help them build features. You, you mentioned Apple, a phenomenal quarter. That's a massive understatement. At the same time, there's uh, you know the speculation again. There's a Wall Street Journal story about whether or not the company's already planning for succession because of the Steve Jobs health issues. Does it really matter? I mean, Tim, Tim Cook has proven himself already to be a very able executive at Apple. The company clearly hasn't fallen asleep at the wheel while he's been driving the Apple bus, so to speak. Is there any reason why people should not own this stock? It's just phenomenal. Well, uh, seeing, you know, I've owned it. I did sell some on the stream here at 368 before earnings because it had been 311 and, you know, I've owned it for a long time. Listen, they're doubling, they tripled revenue in China. They got more cash in Goldman Sachs and uh, they sell every iPad they built. Steve Jobs is a great man, but we all know if you go see Weekend at Bernie's, that even when he passes, God willing, hopefully it's 10 years away, they will wheel him around for years and years and nobody will know. I think our friend uh, Josh Brown, the reform broker, had a, a funny joke yesterday that Apple was working on the iCEO app, uh, you know, just in case. <laughs> just in case, break glass. All right, Howard, thank you so much. As always, we'll do this again next week. See you, buddy.